Hello Internet, I am the Devil in a Meat Suit, and today, in my first video, I'm going to be reviewing a video by Lacey Green. That video is, Why I'm a Feminist, because we didn't all know already. The rumors are true, what they've been saying about me. I have to come clean. I, Lacey Green. <sighs> is Lacey Green finally going to admit? That she's a misandrist rapist like all the rumors say that she is? I'm a feminist. What? You're a lesbian now? Man-hater? Hairy armpits? I think so! Shh, it's gonna be okay. Those are just stereotypes. Those aren't even the stereotypes. That's just a straw man so that you could ridicule it to make your point. And not feel like an idiot for being a feminist. Yeah. Stereotypes exist for a reason. That reason being that they end up being the most common thing, so everyone takes that to be what everything is like. But nonetheless, it's the common thing. Hence the stereotype. I think that feminism is both kick-ass and super important, and here are a few of my reasons why. You know it's gonna be good when they start off with the dictionary definition up on the screen. Because everyone knows the dictionary definition is always the best, most accurate definition of everything. I'm a feminist because girls are taught in public school that once she has sex, she'll lose a part of herself. Because women who have a lot of sex are sluts while guys are studs. And as far too many before me have already pointed out, everyone hates both of them. The girls and the guys hate the sluts, and the guys and the girls hate the studs. Apart from the studs, and the girls having sex with them. And on that note, since you felt the need to point out that guys who are studs aren't shamed by or hated by society, that leads me to believe that you're either having sex with one or are one. Do you have something else to tell us, Lacey? Amanda Todd, Felicia Garcia, Sharice Morales, because of the sexism that drove them to end their lives. I'm not sure whether that's a connected point or she just started making a new one. It was too poorly cut to tell. But what about all the guys who've committed suicide thanks to feminism? On a big Google sum up. I'm sure, it won't take long. I didn't find any examples or cases about specific people who committed suicide thanks to feminism, but I did find one article, link in the description below, on the suicide rates for white men being four times higher than other demographics. And in this article, it also points out that feminists and the SJW crowd claim that this high suicide rate is the product of patriarchy? Yeah, I don't get it either. Uh, read it for yourself, it kind of shows how ridiculous feminism is. I don't understand why anyone follows this shit. I'm a feminist because I was told the first time I had sex would be painful and bloody. I was terrified. So you need feminism because you were told the truth and were warned about the worst case scenario of losing your virginity, where it would indeed be painful and somewhat bloody as your hymen gets torn, and knowing the truth scares you. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a minute. Yeah. That, that pretty much sums up the SJW crowd. At least for me, anyway. And ironically, the picture she shows it depicts someone holding up a sign pointing out that men also get raped, a fact which most feminists I've seen try to deny. Because one in four young women is assaulted and society still asks, what was she wearing? And I don't know where she got that statistic, probably from some feminist survey though, where harassment is defined to include someone saying hello and have a nice day on the streets so that's also complete bullshit and as for people asking what she was wearing first of all that's just plain human curiosity i don't know and second of all i've never heard anyone ask that in a case where someone has actually been assaulted or harassed in some way so, once again, I have no reason to think that what you're saying here is even something you believe is true. 
Because male victims of rape aren't believed since guys want sex all the time anyway, right? So here Lacey comments on men getting raped and somehow says that this leads to the need of feminism? I don't see how as the feminism is specifically the advocacy of women's rights, ergo nothing to do with men except maybe hating on them as feminists seem to want to do but oh no no that's just a stereotype I can't use that in my argument feminist because my first boyfriend sexually assaulted me and when I went to my friends for help they called me a slut again I have no context for this but the reason they called you a slut were probably because you were trying to have sex on the first date or something. I don't know, probably something stupid like that. Looking at how old you are and the, how long ago is even to be referring to this, it was probably when you were a uh, fairly middle of the age teenager, meaning that your friends would also be that and teenagers are incredibly petty, even more than adults are. So, again, moot point. Because when I speak at universities about the absolute necessity of consent, there are people in the audience who laugh. Probably because of the ridiculous scenarios in which you claim that consent is needed. From what I've seen, apparently you need consent to even make eye contact or look at someone now. and. I don't see how that's possible, since in order to talk to them to ask for consent, you'd first have to get consent to talk to them, according to feminism. Though, I suppose that isn't too ridiculous, as feminism seems to want all men to just shut up and die. Or at least, the extreme ones. Because boobs are used to sell everything from burgers to soap, but don't you dare breastfeed out in the open! Two slightly different points there, but I might as well address them at the same time, since she did. First of all, men also get used sexually in advertising. If you haven't seen it, there's a coke ad where there's a man mowing the lawn and some woman giggling up at the top of a hill throw a coke bottle down at him and it spews liquid all over him, forcing him to take off his shirt and making the girls giggle more. If that's not sexualization like in the other adverts depicting women, I don't know what is. As for the breastfeeding, people are trying to advocate to let breastfeeding be done in more places. So whether or not that's because of feminism, I don't know, but at least something is being done about that. But it is a valid point. Because this shocks and terrifies people. I'm not even kidding. You should see some of the looks that I get. It doesn't shock and terrify people. People just find it disgusting. The reason why it's acceptable for men to not shave is because men sometimes don't shave and women still find them attractive for whatever reason, it's just how things are. If you want to try and change people's perceptions of what is attractive, telling them what is and isn't attractive through a video on YouTube isn't going to do anything. If you want to try and change it, you're going to have to do a lot more social engineering than that. Because our culture considers it normal to cut off part of an infant's penis. Here she's referring to circumcision. Yet another thing which applies to men and not women. It's a horrible, disgusting thing, yes, but a reason for feminism? Absolutely not. It's a men's issue, not a woman's issue. Feminism has nothing to do with it. I'm a feminist because the political body making decisions about my body is over 80% male. And this community deciding your what you can do with your body that's over 80% male was voted for by a majority of female voters. If you want to try and get more women in Congress, either run for office yourself and try to get your millions of followers to vote for you, or just try and convince women to vote for women more. But that's not going to happen, because that's not how personalities work. There are more men who are leader types than women who are leader types, that's just how it is. You can't change that, that's nature. Human nature. Stop trying to change human nature. You can't. 
because men occupy the top rungs of not just politics, but every industry in the world. Again, men are in these places because women choose not to be. We're in a free world here, free first world countries, where everyone can make a choice about what they do. Men choose to go with engineering courses and medicine courses where they get to be in those high fields and they barter for promotions so they can work their way up to the top of the companies, and women simply don't most of the time. Of course, they do some of the time, because that's how personalities work, but they don't all the time, and again, that's human nature. Because when I was younger and I took on a leadership role, all the adults in my life said, you're being bossy. So you mean to tell me that you expect leader roles to be fulfilled without any contest? That the leader of something doesn't have to and shouldn't have to deal with people objecting to them being there? This happens to everyone. Just because you can't deal with it doesn't mean they're stopping you. It happens to the men too. The men just deal with it. And let's not forget that sneaky little pay gap. By the time the average woman reaches 60 years old, she will have made $450,000 less than a man in the same exact position. That's like a fancy ass house, a truckload of chocolate bars, or 10. And hell, I'm not even surprised by it. At my first job, I learned that my less qualified male coworker was making almost twice as much as me. Once again, this isn't sexism. This is just people's choices. Women, on average, make different choices than men, on average. If the m companies were paying the men and the women in the same job places, they have been working there for the same time, and are working at the same level, with the same qualifications, to objectively identical people, the only difference being their gender, and they were paying them different wages simply because of their gender, that is illegal in the US. There is a law against it, and if it's happening, you can sue the company, because they're breaking the law. So no, it doesn't happen, otherwise com companies would be getting sued everywhere. And besides that, if you could just pay women less and no one would care, then why aren't companies hiring women everywhere if they can hire them cheaper? Companies love saving money, it means they can make more profit. Why wouldn't they hire cheaper workers? Because gender roles! Because of that one-size-fits-all binary that shoves us into boxes and erases who we are. This is Lacey Green talking about the destruction she wants for stereotypes. And I'll admit that stereotypes can be harmful for fringe cases, but we live in a world where there are seven, over 7 billion and growing people in it, and trying to consider every single one of those as an individual simply cannot work. We have to use these stereotypes and broad strokes, because broad strokes get the fence painted faster. We need to use them, otherwise we'd have no time left for being productive. Because boys are shamed for being emotionally open, because that's a girl thing, and womanhood is weak. Weak! <laughs> Never mind the fact that it was most likely a woman who pushed your body out of her vagina. I'm a feminist because my father never once did the laundry, made dinner, or cleaned the house. When I suggested he help, my grandpa told me I was out of my damn mind. Wow. Wow. Out of my mind. Am I taking crazy pills? So here, Lacey Green is trying to use the biology of humans to argue against the biology of humans. Men fit the gender roles, typically, that they're assigned because evolutionarily they had to, whilst the women were staying home and being protected because they carried the babies that were the offspring that we need to survive as a species, the men would be going out protecting them, going out finding food, hunting, keeping the family, the clan, the tribe alive so that they can continue to produce offspring whilst the women were being protected so that the children could live. That is why the gender roles exist. You can't argue that because women have babies, women shouldn't be protected by men in when they should have been protected by men, otherwise we wouldn't be a species, we would be extinct. Okay? Stop trying to change human nature.
Now, Lacey goes on listing a bunch of issues that aren't really related to feminism, so I'm not going to cover them. It's basically some stuff about same-sex marriage and gays and how she needs feminism because some people still don't treat them equally. And yeah, that's a problem we all recognize, not just feminism. And it has nothing to do with feminism anyway, because when you have male gay couples, they are two men, no women involved. Hence, no feminism. There is more to this video, but I have a time constraint and I've already made my point. Lacey Green is just another stupid feminist, quoting biased and unrelated sources to try and justify her invalid opinion. I am the devil in a meat suit, and I'll see you all in hell.